Hi everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. This is Noresh. Today I will discuss a question which came in CHR UGC NET December 2023 in part B. And this question from real analysis. Let's see the question. Let f r to r be a differentiable function such that f and its derivative f dash have no common zeros in 0 1. Close interval 0 1. Which one of the following statement is true? f never vanishes in close interval 0 1. f has at most finitely many zeros in close interval 0 1. f has infinitely many zeros in close interval 0 1. f half equal to 0. We take example let fx equal to x square minus x. It can be written as x into x minus 1. So, f have zeros at x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So, f dash x becomes 2x minus 1. So, f dash have zeros x equal to half. So, we can see that f have zeros x equal to 0 and 1 in the close interval 0 1 and f dash have zeros x equal to half in the close interval 0 1 so we can see f and f dash have no common zeros in close interval 0 1 therefore the given condition are satisfied so let's check the options in option 1 what is said f never vanish in the close interval 0 1 that means f have no zeros in close interval 0 1 here we can see f have zeros x equal to 0 and 1 in the close interval 0 1 so f should be vanish x equal to 0 at x equal to 1 in the close interval 0 1 here option 1 it is said f never vanish so option 1 is false in option 2 what is said f has at most finitely many zeros in close interval 0 1 where here we get f have two zeros f have two zeros in close interval 0 1 that is finite so by the example of we can say of the option 2 is true but in general we can't say option 2 is true in option 3 what is said f has infinitely many zeros in close interval 0 1 for the example we can see f have two zeros in the close interval 0 1 here it is said infinitely many zeros so option 3 should be false in option 4 what is said f half equal to 0 let calculate f half f of equal to is is 1 by 4 minus half that is becomes minus 1 by 4 not equal to 0 so option 4 is also false since this question is from part b so option 2 should be true because other option are became false so option 2 is true so in the exam point of view you can say that option 2 is true because other option are false but now we have time so we can discuss the option 2 so we will prove the option 2 we will let f r 2 r be differential function and f m it does no common zeros in close interval 0 1 then we suppose f has infinitely many zeros in the close interval 0 1 basically we prove we prove 2 here by contradiction so we will suppose f has infinitely many zeros in close interval 0 1 now since f has infinitely many zeros in close interval 0 1 then there exists a sequence xn in close interval 0 1 such that fxn equal to 0 for all n ok now 0 1 is closed and bounded closed and bounded so by Boljano Wester's theorem we can say that 
xn has a convergent subsequence in 0 1 let the convergent subsequence x sequence is xn k and convergent to x0 as k tends to infinity okay we we'll let this now since f is continuous function continuous function so fxn k goes to fx0 as k tends to infinity so it can be written as limit k tends to infinity fxn k equal to fx0 now fxn k equal to 0 for all k since the xn k is the subsequence of collection of zeros of f zeros of f so fxn k is equal to 0 so from this we what we get from this we will get fx0 equal to 0 now f dash x0 should be not equal to 0 since if it is since f and f dash have no common zeros in closed interval 0 1 so f dash x0 should be not equal to 0 now from the definition of derivative definition of derivative what we can write for each epsilon greater than 0 there exists a delta greater than 0 such that 0 less than mod of x minus x0 less than delta then mod of fx minus fx0 by x minus x0 minus f dash x0 less than epsilon we can write from the definition of derivative of f dash x0 we can write this one we can write this one when this satisfied okay now f x0 equal to 0 so it implies what it implies mod of f x minus x minus x0 minus f dash x0 less than epsilon okay now it can be written as like this the f x minus x minus x0 minus f dash x0 less than equal to fx minus fx by x minus x0 minus f dash x0 to term what less than epsilon we can write this one by using triangle inequality now from this relation what we can write we can write minus epsilon plus mod of f dash x0 less sorry only less than less than mod of fx by x minus x0 less than epsilon plus mod of f dash x0 basically what we do we just remove the modular modulus then we get this relation okay now we want to do using this relation want to we use this relation let we choose we choose epsilon equal to mod of f dash x0 by 2 so from this what we get mod of fx minus x minus x0 should be greater than minus epsilon means mod of f dash x0 by 2 plus mod of 
f dash x zero. So basically, what we get when when zero less than mod of x minus x zero less than delta, we we get mod of f x minus x zero greater than from this what we get from this we basically we get f dash x zero by two so when this relation is satisfied we will get this from the definition of derivative of f dash x zero okay we we get this one now we know that x n k converges to x zero so there exist a capital K such that for all small k greater than capital K x n k minus x zero less than delta we will get this one since x n k converges to x zero so when it satisfied from this relation what we get from this relation what we get when x n k minus x zero less than delta we will get mod f x n k by x minus x zero greater than f dash x zero mod of by two okay now now f x n k equal to zero for all k so this is contradiction so this is contradiction so if we let f has infinitely many zeros we get a contradiction like this okay therefore if can't have infinitely many zeros so so therefore if f if can't have infinitely many zeros so f has at most finitely many zeros in the closed interval 0 1 so option 2 is true thank you for watching this video thank you very much